So, hello everybody. Today we're going to do an unboxing of Dark Gothic Colonial Horror deck building game by F uh, Flying Frog Games. Um, this is a standalone expansion, which is kind of almost a contradiction in terms. So basically, this is an expansion to a game called Dark Ho Gothic. It's also a deck builder, but you can also play it on its own. Now, I have the base game Dark Gothic on order, but it's taking a long time to, to deliver because I chose free delivery so that means I have to wait two weeks but we are patient so basically this one came in the post yesterday I ordered this one from um, a shop in Germany called uh, Brave New World and basically this game is based in the um, A Touch of Evil universe that was created by <coughs> Flying Frog Games, I believe in 2005, anyway, in the early noughties, um, and that is a cooperative, I think it can also be um, semi-cooperative or even adversarial board game, which uh, is a similar in some aspects to Arkham Horror, um, and that's also why I bought it back then, and I thought I was going to enjoy it, enjoy it and I totally hated it. Um, however, this is a deck building game and as you know I like playing card games um, and I watched a playthrough of this game, I want to say by Paul Darcy but I'm not sure, anyway it's on YouTube and um, I really thought that this would be something that I would enjoy. So here we are, let's see what's in the box. Now um, one thing that I really didn't like about um, the Flying Frog game, uh, A Touch of Evil, which hasn't changed in this one, is the artwork. Because while the drawing here is really interesting and evocative, most of their artwork is actually based off of photographs. And I really don't like that, but um, that's okay. Um, I think I can um, look beyond the artwork and look at the game inside. So. <clears throat> What have we got? Well, we've got a catalogue, Flying Frog Production, Spring 2015 catalogue. So here we've got Last Night on Earth, um, Timber Peak, Blood uh, in the Forest, never heard of those ones, Growing Horror, okay. Oh, these are all Last Night on Earth expansions. Touch of Evil, obviously. Um, invasion from Outer Space, the Touch of Evil expansions. Fortune and Glory, I've heard of it. I was always going to watch a playthrough by Lonesome Game on this, but haven't gotten around to it. Shadows of Brimstone, yeah, I've, I've seen this one and I'm so not interested. And Dark Gothic and Conquest of Planet Earth. Okay, good. So, here we've got the rule book, quite slim, like it. Last one is optional rules, FAQ and credits. So it clocks in at 11 and there's a lot of um, artwork in there so um, yeah I think we'll be able to conquer this one fairly easily it comes with a six-sided dice um, it's a custom dice and I know a lot of people don't like this because lose the dice you're not able to play the game anymore however this one is slightly different because it's a normal six-sided dice and what you can do is you can replace it with a six-sided dice that you have and just say five and f five and six count for zeros because that's really what this is one two three four and then two zeros and here we come to the meat. We have the Dark Gothic um, divider card. So um, you have secret cards. So basically when we open this, this would be the dividers that you put between the actual playing cards to keep your deck building nice in the box. And again, I don't understand why Fantasy Flight games, when they put out so many deck builders and so many um, card games, do not actually provide um, these ones at least in the base game and in the luxe in the deluxe expansion packs because it would be so easy to just stick in some of these so people have to build them themselves um, but it would be so much nicer so okay I'm already noticing problems with the quality because you can definitely see the cutout here so these are and the cardstock is bad so I hope that the actual cards are better but these ones are yeah not good anyway and warping. And here we have the um, villain cards and we see clear warping, not excited, shouldn't happen, especially when you understand that this one retails at 59 euros, so uh, not good. Uh, sorry, actually 59 pounds. 
Um, I got it cheap um, or reasonably priced for 29 euros, but I saw it um, on Amazon for 59 pounds, which is a lot of money. Um, so yeah, warping, uh, bad quality, do not like. Um, I also didn't like the production quality of the of the um, of the game itself. The the um, what you call it, the, the touch of evil wasn't good. And here you can, I don't know if you can make this out. Um, uh, you can see that this wasn't cut properly either. So yeah, that's a bit difficult. So here you can see the cuts, yeah. Okay, so uh, first minus is the actual badness of the quality of the production. Here we've got the Weatherstone Gargoyle. So these are villains. Um, this one's level three. So you get three level three villains, the Shadow Witch. That artwork is actually okay. The Fell Reaper, um, that's actually quite evocative. I like that one. The Necromancer. Gremian infestation. Yeah, that's um, when they couldn't use the word gremlins. And also, I don't like this villain at all because it's simply stupid. I mean, they could have come up with something better. Dark Rider of Sullen Grove. Very nice. Like it. The Strigoi vampire. A slasher from below. That looks like a worm type of thing. And the Black Hound of Norfolk. And here we've got the hero cards. <clears throat> and this is, again, the ones that are based on on photographs, which I don't like, but again, I can look um, beyond this. Um, so here we've got Thomas Harrow. He's a swarthy courier. He's got four con combat, <clears throat> four cunning, four spirit, and zero honor. So this is essentially the starting deck. So you get four starting combat cards, four cunning cards, and four spirit cards. He's got abilities, information. All allies cost you one less um, point to acquire, secrets upon secrets, when drawing a shocking discovery, take two and choose which to use. Sarah the Bright Witch, um, Keeper of the ta Tarot Wind, um, Combat 3, Cunning 2, Spirit 6, Honor 1, Aura of Protection, discard a card from hand to protect a card, prevent it from being destroyed, limit once per hero's turn, Power of Light, any time a zero is rolled on the omen die, draw a card. This is interesting because in since it's a multiplayer game, when somebody else uh, rolls a zero, you also get to draw a card. That's very powerful. Inspector Cook. Combat two, Cunning seven, Spirit two, Honor one. Detective, you gain um, one free uh, cunning each turn. Argot Blackwell, <clears throat> Master Hunter. Combat five, Cunning three, Spirit two, Honor two. Abilities, know thine enemy. The first time you play a minion each turn, draw a card. Anna Marie, school teacher to Shadowbrook. Combat three, cunning three, spirit five, on a one. She's a fast learner. Once per turn, you may destroy a card from hand to acquire a training card. The roll, then roll the omen die on the roll of a zero, acquire a dark secret. Knowledge is power, gain two combat any time you play a book. That's really good. So, okay. These are the villains and the heroes. And here we've got the actual card. So I hope that the quality of these is better. At least there is no visible warping. Very important. So let's see. So um, in deck building cards, in deck building games of this nature, um, this is like, for example, Thunderstone Advance, you don't build the deck between games like you would in um, <coughs> Arkham, sorry, not in Arkham Horror, but yeah, in Arkham Horror, yeah, but also in, um, in Lord of the Rings LCG, but you build it from scratch every time you play. So the actual act of building a deck is, is the game. So how this works is normally, and this is the same for the um, uh, alien deck building game, which you have, which has been featured on this on this channel. You start out with a avatar or a hero in this case, and they get a certain type of deck. So when we look at, um, let's just pull out the most recent one. It was Anne Marie. So she has a strength of combat three in the starting deck. So she would get three, one. Okay, probably back here. 
Yeah. She gets three strength of combat cards for her deck. She gets three cunning cards and five spirits. So spirit is right here. One, two, three, four, five. Cunning, one, two, three, and she gets one honor. Here we are. So basically this would be her starting deck. You shuffle these really well. So these are 12 cards. And then you would draw your starting hand. I don't know what the starting hand or the hand size is for this game, but what you would do is you would get these cards. Let's say it's five, one, two, three, four, five. And then you have these symbols down here, which you can use as currency to do things. So we've got um, two combat, one cunning, one spirit, and one honor. Honor is a wild card. This, this symbol, this color doesn't exist in the game, so you can use it as any color. Plus it also says you can draw one card, which is really handy. So you could play this card and say, I've got one of each, one each, I can make a decision, and then I draw an additional card. So now I've got two cunning, one spirit and two strength of combat plus one of any color and then what you would do is you would proceed through the game trying to gain cards and this is really um, how this works you gain cards um, there are different rules for different games but um, usually the, the cards are available um, somewhere to buy um, or to do stuff with them um, you could also um, end up fighting them if they are an enemy and you do this by committing cards that you have or discarding them depending on the type of game you're playing um, or playing them permanently, putting them out in some way. Um, and then using what you have in your hand to acquire cards. So for example, this militia soldier has a cost of three combat. So if she has when we look at the hand that we just had, one, two, three, four, five, and we had one honor card that we had placed out. Um, so this was our hand. Um, we could say we have one honor and two combat, so we can actually buy this card. So this is essentially how this works. Um, and then we would have an ally. This one gets discarded straight away with the rest of the cards, and then you draw your new, your new deck. So this is essentially how these games are played. Tactical strike now. These are the training cards which you can buy for three of any color you get an additional you get this card and Basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to make a deck that is more and more um, Powerful so this is the training card for spirit intuitive hunch you pay three of any color to get a plus two card which you then put into your into your deck then we have the same brilliant deduction for uh, cunning and then lastly uh, yeah, um, so we have these and then we have the Dark Secrets. Now these are cards whose, whose um, ability I don't know about, um, I don't know a lot about just yet. And it says, if this card is in your hand during your turn, it must be played before any other cards. And you destroy this card. Destroy means you put it away. It's not part of your deck anymore. You thin your deck doing this and you draw a shocking discovery. And shocking discoveries are probably really bad. Here are the Hungry Dead. That's a special card that you put out all the, si all the time. <clears throat> So these would be the shocking discoveries. I can see two, four, six, eight in here. Probably there's more. Um, place this card next to the current villain. If that villain has defeated this, uh, defeat this card. Um, all gear cost plus one, so they would actually affect the gameplay. Um, so they are separate. And then you have, depending on the game, different types of cards. Here we have allies, which is pretty much normal. They give you different bonuses. This one is a plus three for two to combat, but you have to pay plus two combat and plus two cunning to get him. Um, this is also an ally. Event cards. Um, yeah. 
you pay one spirit for this one and then the event is draw a card and all gear costs you one less to acquire this turn. Um, you've got gear cards, so exotic herbs, probably give you healing or whatnot. Um, town keys, skeleton key, forged key, cursed key, book of the occult, book of death, Lucy's diary, whoever Lucy is, charmed relic, enchanted pistol, outlaw is a minion. So here now we get into enemy territory. You would draw them as well, and instead of actually buying them, you would fight them. So in order to fight this one, you have to have two combat, then this card gets into your deck, and as a result, when you play this card, you get draw two cards when you fight. Strike, every other hero must discard the top two cards of their deck. That's an evil one, because you're also influencing the other people in your in your um, game. This one is roaming. I think this is a this is a mechanic by which they actually move through the line as it is laid out at the beginning, and then at some point they actually move out of the line, and then they build a shadow track, and if the shadow track hits, I don't know, 20 or whatnot, then, you know, you lose. Rest is dead, another minion, plague of rats, a uh, plague rat, sorry. Smugglers, poltergeist. Again, the artwork is kind of hit and miss. I mean, these are just terrible, those ghost pirates. The wandering spirit, on the other hand, is quite evocative. Feral kin. Vengeful Spirit, I like this one. Vengeful Succubus, yeah, she's she's pretty vengeful. Uh, Master Assassin, Gang of Thieves. Some of these you can see are double, some of them aren't. Then you have Location Cards, Wooden Barricades, Guardhouse, Covered Bridge, the Catacombs. And you wouldn't actually separate those out normally. In, uh, normally you wouldn't separate those out. You would just put them into the same deck and then you would just draw from them. So that's what's in the box, um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the recording and then I'm going to uh, make a little video of this and I'm going to upload it and then I'm going to start playing this game and hopefully maybe tomorrow I will have a playthrough for this. Um, and you can watch how this game is played. Talk to you soon, bye bye.